Welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here. You know, if you have a Kubota B2601 or similar compact tractor with a front end loader, you'll know that one of the issues is the way the exhaust blows right on the back of the front end loader assembly and makes quite a mess. You can see here how the soot builds up on the underside of the front end loader assembly. Our goal is to divert that exhaust away from the assembly and out to the side a little bit more. You're still going to have this cloud of soot, so I don't know how much is going to help, but I think by preventing it from blowing directly on the back end, it may help. So here's what I'm going to do. I picked up this exhaust elbow. It's actually made for a generator, and I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this. It will work, but needs a little bit of modification, so you have to be a little bit handy. Now, if you're only relatively handy, there is another solution that you can do with this without modifying it at all, and I'll show you that, but I'm going to take it one step further and modify this just a bit. But the idea is that I'm going to attach this to the current exhaust on the tractor and try to divert that exhaust just a little bit more further away from the front of the tractor. Let's take a look at the front end. So you can see here the exhaust comes out right at the front of the tractor, right in front of the front wheel, and blows onto the back end of the loader assembly. So I've got this elbow and it is one and three eighths and it's flared to I think one and a half on this side, which is too big. I was a little disappointed to find out that it doesn't quite fit on there. But what turns out is if you put it on backwards, it fits right over the current exhaust. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna mount this on here. Now, you could just clamp this on just like that and be done. I suppose that would be fine, but I don't like the look of this flared end. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it on an angle so it kind of blows out to the side here. So, a couple things we're gonna do. Now, if you wanna use this as is, just put the end on, leave the flared end on the outside. You can just slide this over the current exhaust tip, pick up a one and three eighths muffler clamp, and I'm gonna put a link for that in the description as well. Slide that over and tighten it down. But I'm gonna do something different. As I mentioned, I'm gonna cut this flared end off and I'm gonna take this end that fits and I'm gonna use a double sealed hose clamp over the end here. But that's not gonna crimp down on the metal, so the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hacksaw and I'm gonna cut down in basically create four slots here and that will allow this to compress. I mean, we're not sealing the exhaust here, we're just trying to divert it. So let's start by cutting the four slots in here. I'll show you how this muffler clamp works and then we'll cut the end off to make it hopefully look a little prettier. Let me share a couple tips with you. First of all, we all have probably one or two of these cheap little hacksaws lying around. I guess hacksaws lay around. People lie around. Items lay around. Yeah, so we probably have some of these cheap hacksaws laying around. And, you know, first tip is invest in a good hacksaw. If you're going to use it more than a few times in your life, which you probably will, get a good one because these flex, they're kind of a pain. So I bought one of these, it's got a nice solid handle or a nice solid frame and uh, it really, really makes a big difference. I love this saw. Here's the tip though, when using a hacksaw or any handsaw, a wood saw, we tend to want to really push when we're cutting. And again, whether that's wood or metal, you have to just let the saw do the work. You barely put any pressure on it at all. Once you get that started, it's the weight of the saw, maybe the weight of your hand, and just let it ride and it will work its way down. You have to put a little bit of downward pressure, but if you put too much, the saw is gonna bind up, it's gonna make a crooked cut. So let the blade do the work and be patient. All right, I'm gonna set this in my vise and I'm gonna cut down about an inch and a half. Just iron this up because this is not critical. I've got it lightly clamped in there because I don't wanna egg shape the end of this. Then I'm just gonna put a slot right down the middle, just very carefully. Stop right there, then I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and cut another slot so we have a basically an X shape. OK. 
Come on. Now I'm just going to lightly file off these burrs. You could use sandpaper, you could even probably use the end of a screwdriver and just scrape off the burrs. You just don't want to cut yourself. Let me show you a close up of this double sealed hose clamp. I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but inside this standard hose clamp is a stainless steel ring. It wraps all the way around and what that does is it allows this clamp to clamp tighter and I think more uniform. Uh, it's really made for high pressure rubber hoses and that this ring also prevents the rubber which you see sometimes coming through the end of these grooves. So it'll allow it to clamp down quite a bit more. And you can see here on the exhaust tip where I cut those four slots and that will hopefully allow this to crush down just a little bit and clamp down on the current exhaust tip. So I'm gonna slide this hose clamp over about halfway down my groove and I'll tighten this down. You can use a screwdriver, but I've got this quarter inch ratchet with a socket on there and I'll be able to tighten it tighter with that. So let's go out and put this on the tractor and then we'll uh, modify this end. Now, if you didn't want to cut those slots in the end and you just want to use the exhaust tip as is, you'd want to use the muffler clamp that I showed you earlier. You just slide that over the end, slide the new exhaust tip over the old exhaust tip then you would tighten down the muffler clamp. And what that's gonna do is gonna crimp the metal of the new tip around the old tip. That would probably work really well. I just, I'm using the, muff, the uh, hose clamp because I think it's gonna be a cleaner look. This is a bulky looking clamp here. Not terrible, but I'm just trying to do something different. All right, so I'm gonna use the hose clamp, slide it over, slide this over, kind of adjust my angle to what I think looks slightly downward. Sliding this all the way in, and now I'm just gonna tighten this up with my little quarter inch drive ratchet. That's snug, nice. You know, now that I have this on here, I'm not so offended by that flared end, I, and I could leave it just like it is. And maybe I would recommend that if you, if you do this little modification, leave it just like that. But since I don't feel like re-recording the beginning of this video, I'm gonna cut the end off like I said in the beginning. I'm gonna cut it off on a bit of an angle, I'm gonna use my hacksaw, and I think that might give it a little more custom look. I lowered the loader back down and I can see how, am I in manual focus? I am. Hmm. I lowered the loader back down and I can see now that that new exhaust tip is actually pointing directly at the loader stands. So I'm gonna take it and adjust it down just a little bit more. All right, let's loosen that up a little bit. I'm gonna point it more like that. Nice. So is this gonna solve the problem? I don't think so, but I do think it's gonna help and it's an easy little project to do. 
So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us, and I look forward to seeing you next time.